You can't contract. We can contract with each other as living and breathing souls under common law contract, but we can't contract with corporations. And that, that keeps us safe. And I think it was probably set up not to screw us, but to keep us safe. So that if they ever come for us, it's like, you say, you know, it, it's like, we, you know, we're wearing their anorak. And they sort of like coming back to their anorak. And they, you know, they take you with the anorak. And you, what you do, you unzip it and say, there you go. <laughs> yes. It is, yeah. My understanding, and I'll say, I always say my understanding. I won't say it is. Uh, but my understanding is they will, if they put it in up a case, that is the, that is the person. And if they put Mr., Mrs., that then. Uh, and what they're doing now, I think it was Ian. Where's Ian? There's Ian, right at the back. Uh, I think now, was it, they put mail. They put your name. Uh, Lower case, as you'd have it, as you want it. Then, on the end, they'd take mail or free. Yeah. Well, you also let you have your name. Yeah. It doesn't say man or woman. It says male or female. And that is the thing. They're always tied. Whatever it is, they're tied to the person. So they can't come after you. They can only come for the person. And John's done loads of, you know, he, he's done loads. So, uh, oh yeah. Uh, unless you're not sure about something. But, you know, we all know that your person isn't you. And, and, and that's what keeps us safe. It's almost set up, ideally, so that once we actually get it in our heads, we can understand. Yeah, they can't get us. They can't come for the living, breathing humans. They can only chase off that fictional entity. And that they confuse us with, you know, uh, smoke and mirrors and all sorts of tricks. But, you know, they can't actually get us. And, and I've done this, you know, I've done this myself. So, you know, I've, I won't say how many, I don't know, I've probably done about seven or eight credit cards. Some with, uh, uh, and I won't say how much, I can't even work out how much it is, but I've dealt with loads. You know, because I, you know, it's, uh, once you realise that they're uh, defrauding you, uh, what I would say is, you know, you don't go out and say, oh, right, I'll go out and get a 10 credit cards. And, because if you start stop doing that, then, you know, better than they are. Because, you you know, if you think that you're going to be happier by having lots of money. But, uh, anyway. So it's interesting on the back of the, oh, on, on, the, on the front of the credit card, obviously. Obviously, always in uppercase name. Oh, I've got a little pointer here, haven't I? Uh, always in uppercase name. I've yet to see uh, On that talk that went on TPUC, somebody shouts out, oh, I've got one in lowercase. And I, I just say, I'd like to see that one. And I saw him, uh, I saw the guy that shouted out, and I found it was Steve that comes to our meetings. And uh, he, I said, uh, he said it was me that shouted out in that video. I said, well, did, was it, did, have you got a credit card in lowercase? He said, no, I went home. It was in that the case. Yeah. <laughs> so, great. Authorised signature. Who are you authorising? Yeah. You're authorising the fictional entity. It, 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 you know, you, oh, I'm pressing the wrong one now. I've got too many buttons here. So there you go. Authorised signature. Why would you need to authorise it if it was you? The currency used is just totally worthless paper. Now, everyone, nearly everyone here has seen uh, Money is Debt. Uh, so I'm not going to have to go into the way that corporations make money out of thin air. There are people starving in countries because they haven't got enough ones and zeros on their computer systems. It, 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 it's like you want to pull your hair out. It, it's, so ridiculous, it's so ridiculous that certain countries are controlled by other countries, these corporations literally just try to screw us. And at the moment with this quantitative easing and bailing the banks out, I mean, as I am preaching to converted here, so normally I'm trying to sort of like convince people of this, but I mean everyone, yeah, we're in the same boat here, so I do understand. So there was a more monopoly money. <laughs> And these are these, you know, Federal Reserve, Bank of England, Bank of International Set Settlements, and Europe European Central Bank. It's all the same people behind all this. It's just a few banking families of which, you know, we know the Rothschilds are bang up there in it. And I think everyone knows this. So if there are anyone, anyone that wants any clarification, if I'm sort of glossing over too much, I would go into a little bit more detail. 
But I don't think I have to here. But if there's anyone that's like wants me to sort of go over anything, I will do that. But mostly created on a computer screen. So I mean, they they sort of remember a pound sterling. That used to be your receipt for a pound of sterling silver. What would a pound note, actually a pound coin, isn't it? It's only in Guernsey we still got pound notes. What would a pound coin get you in silver? You know, you, you, you wouldn't even get a little pair of earrings in silver. For, you certainly wouldn't get your pound. So, you know, they've taken away the, you know, the silver from us. They've taken the gold, and they've now even taken the copper out the pennies. I mean, how tight are these people? Really? Really? I mean, I think you can pick them up with magnets now. It's like, yeah. it's like, it's totally, it, it's like, how tight are these people? No, it's a No, go on. Well, if you actually got a bag full of two-pence coins, or a big bag of them, and actually weigh them in at the scrapyard, you'd get more money. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. top of the content within the coin is worth more than the coin itself. So if you actually scrap them, you get more money. Brilliant, brilliant. See, so I'm learning as we're going along. <laughs> so. Right, and, and the great thing is that in Monopoly, because I went through the rules of Monopoly yesterday, I thought, well, I better do a bit more research because I'm talking to some quite intelligent people here. Yeah. It actually says that if the bank runs out of money, the bank may issue as much as needed by writing on ordinary paper. That, honestly, this is true. This is true. This is in the rules of Monopoly. And I'm thinking, I, I had to laugh. I had to laugh because we wouldn't have believed it. This 10 years ago, we wouldn't have believed this. And so there you've got a cartoon of the kids playing Monopoly. What do you mean you need a bailout? great, isn't it? It's great. It is great. And, oh dear, and this is, look, I've, I've done that. That says 4th of November. And I don't even, you know, I, I don't even agree with those figures from, you know, what I've researched. But, I mean, basically, this was a telegraph online on, uh, uh, I found this yesterday. Bank bailout, every family shouldering 4,350 in tax liability. Remember, that's going to be interest, remember? Okay? And it's like, that's not just what we owe, like, that is just for the banks. It's cost every single family for, why didn't they just let the banks collapse and anyone that lost any money, give it straight to them? But no, no, this was a cleverly set up, it, it was engineered to take more of our money. Nothing happens by chance. But what I do believe is they're losing control of it. And I think that's where the fun starts. Because when enough of us start biting back, uh, that's what I think they're actually uh, shit scared of us at the moment. Those sort of thousand people at the top, you know, there's a lot. Yeah. How many people go to a TPUC site every day? You know, uh, well, I mean, how many altogether, you, you know, when you're getting, I don't know, 5,000 a day or something, talking to Dan. I mean, that's an awful lot of people. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm getting a few hundred people a day onto my little site. And it, it's really exciting because people are learning. Knowledge is power. And, and that's where we, you know, we, that's where we take them on. And, oh, oh dear me. Quantitative easing. I think there's a little dot on the top that says uh, 175 billion. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, the, it's incredible. It is incredible. And that starts, that is just 2009 for those people. I can't really read it from here. But that starts February, March, up till November. I mean, they're just chucking money. It's like, imagine when you're, you're, you're hopelessly in debt and you just go out and you get another 10 credit cards. You know, it, it's like thinking, oh, look, I've got lots of money now. Isn't that amazing? Right, and obviously, the object of the game is to bankrupt all opponents. So we know that.